On this episode of the Daily BE, we are talking about the Dop Kit. All right, so the first thing you may have noticed is I called it a Dop Kit, not a dope kit or a toiletry bag, which this is a toiletry bag. But when I started doing research for this um, video blog, uh, you know, of course, I've always called this sort of bag a dope kit. And the correct pronunciation is apparently a dop kit. So some really interesting history on these guys. The toiletry bag as we know it today was invented back in 1919 by a German leather maker by the name of Charles Doppelt. And what Charles did is he made kind of a little mini briefcase. So a zipper on the top and it was kind of self-standing so you could open it up, it wouldn't fall over, and you keep all of your bathroom essentials in there. So a very good idea, obviously, and kind of really took off here in the United States. And then in World War I and World War II, the Army actually issued a, a DOP kit to each and every American GI. So as you can imagine, now became very much a household thing. And after the wars, they came back and continued using their DOP kits. So today, I would uh, hazard a guess that most guys have one. Turns out I had, don't ask me how, but over the years I have accumulated three different bags that were in my closet. And I thought if you're in the market for a new one, or you're kind of looking around for whatever reason, uh, to maybe to get your first one, or if it is a brand new bag, how do you go about finding the one that's right for you? So let me kind of walk you through everything. First and foremost, I have a very nice bag by Toomey, right? There's a point in my life when I bought uh, some nice luggage, invested in something that's going to last me a long, long time. And of course, I thought, let's get the matching toiletry bag. So very cool contrast lining, lots of fancy things. It's pretty big and heavy. That's what really resonates with me today. Uh, very big zippers, so very robust design. going to last me a long, long time. It still looks really good. It doesn't really show any kind of wear, which is great. However, it's very heavy. And a lot of my air travel in particular I don't like carrying anything that's overly heavy. So I actually don't use this a lot. What I use, ironically, is a very, very light bag that literally, literally weighs an ounce. And I bought this for backpacking purposes to go camping. It's a very simple bag, nothing fancy about it. Uh, it's got the cool neon, of course, but at the same time, it does not really match, for instance, a lot of our custom suiting in um, perceived quality, but it's a very nice bag. It has held up really well over the years. And when it gets a little dirty from, you know, say toothpaste or something, I just wash it out, piece of cake, let it air dry. And again, there is almost zero weight to this thing. So I actually use this the most. And kind of in the middle of the pack is another quality of a, or material quality here. And this is just kind of a canvas bag. And this is something that you can probably kind of tell over a little bit of use has gotten kind of wrinkled looking, it's got some kind of stains on it that I can't really get out. And this is not a waxed canvas like some of the better ones out there. But it does have a couple nice little leather details, man about town, right, that's nice. But I don't really use this a lot. And you probably can't see, but you know, turning it out briefly uh, to show you guys, there are a lot of stains and everything that I can't really get out because whatever you put in any one of these, it's going to get kind of gross over time. So when you're looking for something, I'd really encourage you to find a, a material that uh, is going to rinse out pretty easily because stains and spills are just going to happen, right? And that's kind of the whole point of having these bags is that your toothpaste or a moisturizer or a sunscreen or shampoo, whatever you put in these things, especially when you travel um, via air and the pressure changes a little bit in the cabin, sometimes things can explode. And it's much better to have that happen in a small little area versus your entire suitcase, right? So long story short, different materials today, way, way more options than there ever used to be. Back in the uh, Dot Pelt's day, there was just leather. And today we can certainly still get leather, but we have some great uh, different synthetic options and we have more backpacking, kind of camping mentality type of gear. And then of course, a lot of cloth fabrics. So what's best for you? Well, it kind of depends on your use. And also, if it's important to you, what you want to have kind of uh, displayed on the bathroom counter wherever you're going. So, hope that helped. If you have any questions, let me know. And don't forget to subscribe. New videos coming. Uh, we missed a little bit of a, a gap here. My apologies, but we'll get right back into it. And 
I have another topic for tomorrow. Thanks for watching, guys. We appreciate the attention.